Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Erin, from E. Marie Eats. Welcome back to my channel, where my pot's always clicking. Today, I'm preparing a seafood boil, which is a very popular dish of mine. And I tell you what, no matter what your experience level is, even if you're a novice, you will find this recipe to be very, very helpful. It's quick, it's easy, yet it's amazingly delicious. I guarantee it. So let's jump right in. I have some baked potatoes, I have some corn on the cob, some wild caught shrimp over here. I also have some crabs, um, and these babies are Dungeonese crabs. Um, you can use any kind of crab meat that you want. I have some lemons, some curly parsley, some fresh garlic, onions, and tons of butter. So now it's time to get all these things chopped up. So I like to do it this way because I feel like once everything is all chopped up, that's the hardest and most tedious part of the whole process. So once you get all those things done, then you're pretty much good to go. And I'd also like to point out that the potatoes and corn have already been baked. Um, I prefer mine that way um, because, I, you know, I think that when it's put in the oven, it's just something about it. The flavor is more intense. Um, you know, in comparison to when you boil them. But if time is of the essence for you, um, you can definitely still go ahead and boil them and cook them directly in the pot with the seafood boil. Okay, so now that all that cutting and chopping is out of the way, let's get my pots clicking and get this seafood boil popping. As you can see, I'm using a nice roomy pot and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the ingredients, which consists of olive oil, butter, garlic, Pretty much everything you saw me chopping up. <laughs> the onion at this point, um, I go ahead and start adding in the seasoning, which is a Creole crab and shrimp oil seasoning. I add in some of the aromatics like the curly parsley. Then I had to go back in with a little bit of minced garlic because y'all know I love my garlic, okay? I squeeze in some of those lemons just to take that flavor profile up another notch. Then I go ahead and give it a good stir. Let that simmer down for a couple seconds. And then when I come back to this pan, y'all, it's already bubbling. It's already looking amazing. Yes, I did add a little bit of water to achieve the consistency that I'm looking for. I let that simmer down for a couple seconds. And oh my goodness, y'all, y'all see this? I wanna just go ahead and stick my spoon in it right now. So I go ahead and I start adding in the corn the potatoes and the Dungeness crab so it could just go ahead and start soaking up that flavor and let that sit and start to marinate a little bit. Now at this point, it's easy breezy. I mean, the dish is pretty much done. All the ingredients, as you can see, are already separately cooked. Now it's just a waiting game. I go in, I take another peek, move things around as it's starting to simmer down in the pot. Now I go ahead and add the shrimp in, okay? Because the shrimp only takes maybe two or three minutes. You don't want to overcook your shrimp. You don't want them to be dried out. You don't want them to be chewy. You don't want them to be hard. So you add those in at the very last minute. Now I just go in again, add a little bit more of the curly parsley in there. You know, and then you just tweak the flavor. I mean, it's your food. Make it yours. If it's not enough seasoning, put some more in. If it's too much seasoning, maybe add a little bit more butter, add a little bit more water. It's yours. Make it yours. Oh, yes, honey. Let's have a moment of silence for this bubble. And there you have it, guys. My quick and easy seafood boil recipe. It's over here looking all yummy and juicy and delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. As always, thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. But you know my pot's always clicking, so click, comment, and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.